The honor of membership is that we are a society of integrity. The honor is we have been chosen and selected to represent the science and that we are members of a society with Nobel laureates and we carry a tradition more than 100 years old. That's an honor. We always said that it was more than an honor society. We like to think people come for the honor, but they stay for the opportunity of service. I think it's the opportunity to become engaged in forging this dynamic and creative interaction among science, technology, and society. That that is the exercise which will determine the future of humanity in the 21st century. This is the 21st century, the century of science, engineering, and technology. It's critical to have a society like the Sigma Xi that's the beacon of excellence that represents the best and brightest. Diversity, minorities, all of these things mean a lot to us because science is blind to all of these divisions. This society very early welcomed all. I've loved research. It's a nationwide um, research society. The fact that somebody believes that I belong there is a very integral part of the process. More than anything, what Sigma Xi does for me right now is helps young scientists. I would say that Sigma Xi is the only friend to the inexperienced scientist out there. I have not found a place uh, really like Sigma Xi in my searches that is willing to fund uh, from undergraduate all the way through graduate level in research. I feel that uh, being part of Sigma Xi makes me part of something larger in terms of scientific research. Members come from the university and college. They also come from industry and from government. And it is one of the few groups that actually brings these people to talk with each other. It's an eminent publication society, it's an eminent honor society, but uh, equally important, it's a very active society. And they drink beer together, they, they talk together, they argue together, it's all congeniality. We're chapter oriented, we have more than 500 chapters. It's local, it's multidisciplinary, it's forward looking, it's diversity, it's global in its outreach and its, its program, it's progressive. Sigma Xi is different in being a society of science, not just a professional society of a narrow discipline. And that interdisciplinary nature is the key to our success. We like to say that Sigma Xi was different by design and designed to make a difference. I think that the providing of information through the venue of the American scientists is extraordinarily important to the members and always has been. It deals with uh, topics at the forefront of science and engineering, but it deals with them in two ways. First of all, it deals with them in a very easily understandable way, with wonderful graphics. Second, it really deals with, uh, with the implication of these topics. It deals uh, very often with what this means to us. Lots of times. Everything in the magazine that. happens no, through a kind of right. collaboration involving an editor, artist, and a scientist. It's really a process of discovering the science as we're making the picture, asking lots of questions in a collaborative environment, just the same way that science is done. So we like to think that we capture the process of discovery and of collaboration in the magazine itself. Organizations like Sigma Xi and its journals like American Scientist that uh, give people an awareness of what's going on outside their immediate um, context. Sigma Xi is a chapter-based organization. We have more than 500 chapters. They're based, as I said, in academic institutions, in industrial laboratories, in government laboratories, and some are area chapters. It is controlled by the membership that the membership concerns and interests uh, create the uh, new programs and ideas that Sigma Xi deals with. And it's grassroots in that it's our membership that determines the direction of the society. We really encourage undergraduate students to do research. 
And by having an active chapter of Sigma Xi, what that allows us to do is to provide special recognition for the students who sort of go above and beyond what the normal level of participation in research is. A chapter is a laboratory for the goals of Sigma Xi to see if they can be applied on the scene. Well, I think the first thing that we need in order to get ahead as young scientists is a strong support network, a support network of other scientists. The companionship, I think, is the basic issue. You're asking if Sigma Xi allows this introduction of people from one area to another. No, we don't allow that. We demand it. We demand it. Look, we're scientists. We work together. It really offers a great opportunity for people from diverse disciplinary backgrounds to meet each other and perhaps either foster collaborations or at least commiserate over the difficulties uh, that each of us share as young investigators. Being from another country, I obviously don't know a lot of schools, and being in Sigma Psi conferences is, gives me the opportunity to get connected with people of different colleges. I kind of think the networking is the biggest benefit of this sort of thing. I mean, it's, there's a big push towards interdisciplinarity in science, and most of that ends up happening at the social level rather than at the professional level, I think. If you don't know the people and you don't know how to get out there, you're not going to get anywhere. Well, I'm hoping to get out of this to meet scientists, to help my networking ability, and to hopefully get a better job in the future. Graduate students and postdocs are really focused on our own area of work, and it's very difficult for us to really see what the larger picture is, not only with our own research, but also with the broad expanse of possibility that a science career can have. What we're really trying to do is make sure that young scientists are aware of all of the opportunities that are out there for them. I think programs like the career fair sponsored by Sigma Xi does really give people a picture of how broad the scientific community is. Sigma Xi is in many ways a mentoring society. We have developed a number of educational programs that involve and help members. These include our landmark postdoc survey and intensive workshops in grant writing. I have taken the grant mentorship course myself and I felt it was very useful. I learned really to understand how the rules are in that grant world. Grants in aid of research, $5,000, $4,000, $1,000. For a young researcher, it means a lot. The Sigma Psi grant in aid was the first real competitive prize that I ever got. And to get it at that time, you know, I was 20 years old, newly married, didn't know whether we'd make it through the year. That first grant, those first $200, that really made an enormous difference. It's remarkable how I remember the day where we got the grant. The individual researcher is the very heart and soul of American science. It's the very means of success. The notion that big teams of researchers are the only way that modern science can be conducted, I think is fallacious. You've got to have both. And therefore, I think Sigma Xi, because it provides those small grants to the individual researcher, keeps the flame of the individual scientist burning. I have received a Sigma Xi grant in aid of research. This research let me go out into the field and get the material that I analyzed for a publication. This is an octopus that was collected off of the uh, west coast. And it was like a, a bigger brother came by and put his hand on my shoulder and said, uh, you're worth the risk. Obtaining the Sigma Xi grant, I believe, is going to allow me to step from being uh, just a late stage graduate student over to someone who can uh, submit for larger grant funding. Clearly the grants in aid are the um, most significant for the young scientists and I think it gives a sense of satisfaction as well 
to those who participate in making the selection and, and making the awards. This is the kind of interaction between the mentor and the student that makes such a big difference in science. We have to reach out and we have to get youngsters excited about science while they're in grade school. If we don't let them know that science is important, if we don't get them engaged with science, that science is fun, and if we don't do that in grade school, we're never going to do it for them when they're in high school or in college. We have to start early. Things like the Sally Ride Doy Challenge that Sigma Xi helps sponsor is a classic case of that. Our idea or invention shows skills in soldering, circuit making, and how to work with diodes. I think Sigma Psi uh, has an essential role to play in terms of young women and other groups that are underrepresented in the sciences. We can't possibly sustain a vibrant future for humankind if we're only using under half of the talent that exists on this planet. Sigma Psi needs to promote good science and the good use of science. We live in a time when science is under assault and our society and its membership need to provide both our students as well as the public at large with information and a factual basis for them to make decisions. A lot of science museums and libraries and either pub even public TV stations are experimenting with it collaboratively with Sigma Psi is the thing called Science Cafe. Science Cafe is a, a way to create an informal conversation between scientists and community members held in everything from science museums to coffee houses to try to just raise awareness. Sigma Psi Weekly sends out a science alert that helps me see the broader perspective. What's newsworthy, what's important, what's notable in advances or issues in science and technology all across the spectrum. And it's only that kind of conversation that will help us discover together where we really have shared needs, shared questions, shared opportunities, and shared experiences with science. The honor in being elected to Sigma Psi is inextricably coupled with the responsibility to use the knowledge that you have uh, to better the lot of humanity. And this is the hallmark of Sigma Psi in the 21st century. We serve to facilitate bringing people together to address these ethical issues and to understand what should be done, what should not be done. And my goal with our programs is to try to utilize Sigma Psi's network to make sure that the good practices are taught and the bad practices are identified. We in Sigma Psi must be in a position to influence science and science policy. We want to put science back into science policy. For the next 20 years, we must embrace the international community, the global community. That's what I want to do. We would expect that in the 21st century that a large number of our increased membership is going to come from overseas. We no longer live in a world that can be defined by national boundaries. We're on one planet, and how the planet survives is going to determine the survivorship of humankind. So all the way from undergraduates in my lab getting a small grant, to graduate students helping those undergraduates write the grants to big national issues, you know, have been addressed by Sigma Xi, and so it's, uh, you know, a lot of bang for a small buck in terms of being a member. Well, you should be a member because you find a unique opportunity to broaden your views. A unique opportunity. And it should be very helpful to you professionally, as well as your growth, to your growth as a human being. It looks good. Being involved in Sigma Xi really, truly helps one develop the sense of collegiality that is extremely important if you're going to succeed in any professional career, whether it's in academic science or industry-related science. Sigma Xi remains as necessary and as important in its mission, its goals, and its contribution to science and society as it did a hundred years ago. I think it's a tradition whose flame burns on. <laughs>